the rear end of my Jeep's been leaking. I need to fix it. Uh, it's destroyed. I think I'm going to have to get a new one or build a new one. I think I'll build a new one. I think it might be time for new one. Oh, I think that's probably why it's leaking right there. Because of the thing and the stuff and the... The hole? The, yeah, and the thing. It's, it's been in some rocks. Looks like there's some water in there too. Water? Yeah, the hero is a little milky. Uh, it's just to cut it a little bit, just like your recipe. The gears are in good shape. Spider gears look good. But I think I need to address this. There's some issues with you it. You think you might have screwed it up a little? I think I might have ruined it on some rocks. <clears throat> so I've tack welded the cover that I'm going to remanufacture to this piece of scrap metal we have kicking around um, to hold it in place and then I've taken my Harbor Freight uh, centering punches and center punch the every hole and then I pilot drilled them just so the center punch stayed and now I'm going to take the plasma cutter and trace Trace this whole cover, cut it out. Then I'll then I'll drill all the holes. And then I'm going to cut the middle out so it fits over the ring gear and the the bearings, the cap bearings. And then I'm going to build a cover over the ring gear with quarter inch plate, and then probably just slope. Slope, slope, slope. The rear end has a spool in it, so it really doesn't take up much room at all. So um, I'll start cutting on this with the plasma cutter. There's the back plate that's going to bolt to the housing. I've got to cut a ring around it, about an inch and a half in, drill all the holes. And then I'm going to hold it up to the housing and see where it clears the the ring gear and the bearings. We've got the flange cut and bolted up. Now I just need to cut a piece about three inches wide to go over the ring gear. And I'm gonna bend it in a radius. And then I'm gonna bump this out about a quarter inch and then plate all the way to the, to the ring gear. Okay, so this is very rough right now, but I've tacked everything on as far as everything that needs to clear the, the bearing caps and the ring gear came out three quarters of an inch. Um, I started welding this side while it was bolted on. I'll have to weld the rest of it on the bench, but that is the gist of it. Obviously I need to do really good welds and keep it really clean so that it does not leak. So. I'm going to pull this off, take it over to the bench. I will tack it down to the bench um, to keep it flat. I did that when I built another one and it worked pretty good and then just cut the tacks later. And then uh, you got a nice flat surface to weld on. But that's the gist of it. I'll, I'll cover this straight, straight, and then same thing on the other side. So I put some pretty heavy tacks on this everywhere in between the holes, the mounting holes. I'm not sure I like how close that hole is to this. I think I might cut that one tack and move, move this in a little bit to get it away from that hole. There was plenty of clearance between the ring where the ring gear sits in here um, so I'm gonna see what I can do to get a little further away from there all right I like that gap way better I just cut that uh, tack move this in I know that looks like a pretty big hole but I know I can fill that hole with weld 
Um, I'll get that tidied up, fill that with weld. You'll never know. Uh, got the same kind of gap here and over here. Um, I know I can weld that. So I'm gonna use some cardboard and lay it flat on here and get this shape so I can get that cut out. I'll do the same with this and then I'll do the same with the, the sides. <clears throat> and then uh, I'll trace that on, on some more steel and cut it out and get it, get it welded in there and weld everything up solid and triple check it to make sure I don't have any leaks. And then uh, the fill port goes right about there. It'll go in the flat spot here. This is exactly lipstick on a pig right here. I'm fixing the mistake I made like a year ago <laughs> when I sanded it down without having any paint and then it turned into rust. Oh, it's just patina, Preston. Patina. <laughs> Put some lipstick on that pig. To cut these, I'm just using some CAD board for uh, a template. I just set it on there and hit it with a hammer around, just like when you're making your own gaskets. And transfer that to the steel, cut it with a grinder. And now I gotta clean up all that powder coating so I can weld this in. No dust was flying in the air at all when I painted it. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, it's a good thing we're not putting this thing in car shows. <laughs> got that piece tacked in. Uh, now I got to build these other pieces. I'm just going to go vertical here. I left a gap so that I can tuck it in there and weld the corner and then flip it over and corner weld it, just like I'm doing here. So you can have a, a nice penetrating weld right in the corner. So I'll, the other piece will jam in there. Same thing with, with this side, it'll jam in there. And then I'll, I'll weld there, there. And then once I, once I cut it loose off of the bench, I'll flip it over and weld the inside corners. Starting to see the vision yet. It'll look pretty cool with the tread plate, I think. Definitely unique. Oh yeah. Dang, dude, dang. Oh, that's gonna be pretty sweet. It's either gonna be sweet or it's gonna leak like a sieve. <laughs> I assume we'll figure out. Well, here it is all welded up. I welded the inside and the outside. I do need to still drill a hole in it for the fill hole and uh, clean the inside of it out. Make sure there's no slag balls or anything like that that could contaminate the gear oil. I'll clean the mating surfaces up um, so, I, so I can glue it on the, on the rear end and um, paint it with some, some black rattle can paint. Paint's all dry. Painted it last night. I did get some paint on the mating surface when I moved it around, so I'm going to clean that up really good. I'll just take a wire wheel to it, clean it up, and then I'll uh, clean the, the mating surface on the rear end and glue this sucker on. Turned out pretty good. I just welded a, uh, a steel uh, coupling in here and cut it off to length. So I have a three quarter inch NPT threaded pipe plug in it. I've test fitted it, it fits really nice. Got this all installed. It might be the prettiest thing on the back end of this Jeep. Um, I still need to put fluid in it. We're loading up to go to Moab right now for the morning. So I gotta throw some fluid in it and uh, Hopefully it holds fluid. I guess we'll see you by the end of this weekend. You got a big job. <laughs>
No, I thank you.